Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Scott Moore from Eurosun Mining. How are you today? Great, great. Thank you for having me here. Scott, you have one of the most exciting, or you have the second largest gold deposit in Europe. Is that correct? That's correct, and I'm probably the 14th largest undeveloped in the world, so it's, it's big. And in addition to that, you have a formidable copper deposit. Can you can talk to us a little bit about the overview of your Romanian-based project. Sure. The Ravina Valley project is uh, roughly 10 million ounces gold equivalent, but that's broken down into about 7 million ounces of gold and about a billion and a half pounds of copper. So you get exposure to both the metals because we recover both quite significantly uh, in, in processing. And you had some impressive PEA results this year, but that only reflected 29% of the deposit. Is that correct? Yeah, one thing about Rovina, it's big. It's 400 million tons. So, you know, you can, to try to build a project that's the big size for everything, all three deposits, it's, you know, unmanageable probably for a smaller company. So we focused on only a portion of the asset that was buildable, that's permanent, and that's financeable. Well, I noticed that you're very global in your marketing, and in addition to that, you're one of the few mining companies that has been moving in a positive uptick over the last year. Can you tell us what you credit that to? You know, Romania has been closed for you know maybe the last five or six years on the back of Gabriel Resources, which is a very large project there in Romania, uh, that had been blocked out for permitting issues. But the government finally gave us our permit in November, so probably a watershed moment for the government saying yes to mining once again and our stock's been reacting on the back of that. And for all of you cannabis investors out there looking to disperse your funds and your profits, looking for gold, you're one of the most environmentally friendly projects too, according to one of our analysts. Well, certainly, you know, in Europe, which is always a big concern, cyanide is always a big concern, and uh, with the tailings dam failures in Brazil, people are looking more and more at ta wet tailings facilities. And the government and the company made a conscientious decision to go with no cyanide use in our project and no wet tailing. So as about, about as green as you can possibly get in, in, in a processing of, an, of a mining operation. And of course, and you're, as you're progressing towards production, I noticed that you've uh, received authorization to begin mining activities. Can you tell us a little bit more about that news release? Sure, that's a follow-on to actually getting the permit approved by all levels of government in, in, the, in, the, in Romania, and that's just a further demonstration that Romania is open. We have full authorizations to do mining, subject to getting our construction permit, which is what we're working on over the next 12 months. So we're building a mine. This is actually moving forward. It's not promoting a resource and, you know, maybe you have a mine in 10 years. No, we're going to have a mine under construction, hopefully in the next 12 to 18 months. Of course, we here at Investor Intel are uh, enthusiastic gold bugs, and we do believe the market is planning on turning around here shortly as we move towards 2020. Can we talk to you a little bit about your own forecast with the gold market? Well, sure. I think, you know, gold, as much as many other commodities, it's harder and harder to permit uh, projects these days. The high grade is less and less being found. Uh, I think we probably hit peak gold already uh, in the last year. Uh, so projects like uh, ours is buildable, it's, per it's permitted, uh, it will be built and that's a big key point that's going to drive the price of gold probably higher. Uh, I guess just the lack of supply is not you know, coming on stream here in the very short term. The big projects owned by the barracks and the Newmonts they're just not being built at this time. So you're looking at smaller projects, more nimble, and that's what's really think we're gonna drive the price of gold a little higher in the next, uh, next little while, as well as copper prices probably too. Well, speaking of M&A deals, you have a very impressive new board of directors member who has a lot of experience in M&A. Can you talk to us a little bit about her appointment? Sure, uh, Ava Bellissimo, you know, senior lawyer at McCarthy's, has been on the, the street for you know top expert for like the last 20 years, and we've worked with Ava for probably the last decade on many, many projects within, uh, within the group and focused on M&A transactions and brings a wealth of experience to, you know, ultimately what we'll have as a, a very large project and, and likely an M&A target going forward here. So what should we as shareholders anticipate in the next upcoming quarter? Well, the next quarter, certainly we're progressing on all our uh, construction permit activities, which is environmental uh, impact assessment and, and feasibility study. So not particularly newsy uh, as we're in the development stage, but I think you're going to see, again, strong progress towards getting this project up and going in, in the construction phase. Well, Scott, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you for the update. Oh, thank you, Tracy.